Welcome back, we're in lesson 32, and we're gonna talk about word problems now. A couple of lessons ago, we talked about algebraic phrases. Now we're gonna put those algebraic phrases together to form word problems. To solve word problems, we look for statements in the problems that describe equal quantities. Then we use algebraic phrases and equal signs to write equations that make the same statements of equality. We'll begin by solving problems that contain only one statement for now, and then later on we'll get to where we encounter problems that contain more than one statement of equality, and they'll require more than one equation. Uh, we're going to avoid the use of the letters X and Y in writing these equations. We'll try to use variables whose meaning is easy to remember. The problem in this lesson discusses unknown numbers, so we'll use the letter N to represent the unknown number. All right, so let's look at the first one, which is 32.1. And it says the sum of twice a number and 13 is 75. And this one's pretty straightforward. The sum of twice a number and 13 is 75. Find the number. It's pretty straight, but this is a pretty easy one. We can subtract 13 from both sides. And that cancels. So 2n is equal to 62. We divide both sides by 2. And we find that n is equal to 31. So we would say 31 for our answer on a, num on a problem like this. All right, let's look at 32.2. It says to find a number such that 13 less than twice the number is 137. All right, so find a number, okay? such that 13 less than twice the number. All right, so all of this can go away, and all we need to worry about is this right here. 13 less, so we're gonna be subtracting 13 from something. 13 less than, so we're subtracting it from this, than tells us that we're subtracting it from this, twice the number, so 2n is, is our equal sign, 137. All right, now we can um, solve. We can add 13 to both sides and swim our little fishies around. This cancels. That leaves 2n on this side. And that leaves 150 on this side. And when we divide both sides by 2, n is equal to 75. So 75 is the answer to this problem. All right, 32.3. Let's try this one. Find a number such that, cross it out, five times the number, that's five times the number, is decreased by 14. The result is, all right, this right here, the result is, that's equal sign, twice the opposite of the number. So twice the opposite of the number is like saying two times negative n, so negative two n. Okay, twice the opposite of the number. Okay, that's all together there. So now we just add, um, oh goodness, we have 14 over here, we need to move 5n over here. So let's subtract 5n from this side. Okay, this cancels. That leaves negative 14 here, and this is going to be negative 7n. We divide both sides by negative 7. We get that 2 is equal to n. That is the number we were looking for. All right, let's do 32.4, find a number. Of course, it's what we're doing. Decreased 
by 18 equals 5 times opposite. So a number decreased by 18 equals 5 times its opposite. So it's going to be negative 5n. So here's how I get this 5 times its opposite. 5 times this is the number, this is the opposite, and this is 5 times. So when you do all of that, it's negative 5n. Okay? That becomes negative 5, negative 5 times n. So that's how we get to that point. So now all we need to do is bring n to this side. So minus n minus n. And remember there's always an invisible 1 in front of those. So that's going to cancel. We're going to have negative 18 on this side. Negative 6n on this side. So when we divide both sides by negative 6, we get 3 is equal to n. Okay? Alright, last one. 32.5. We get the same result if we multiply a number by 3 or if we multiply the number by 5 and then add 2. Hmm, find the number. So let's look at that one. We get the same result if we multiply a number by 3 or is our equal sign. Okay? So it's telling us this side or this side. Okay? And it's the same result if we do this one or this one. So that means that this is e that equal sign needs to go where the or is. If we multiply a number by 3, it would be 3n, or becomes our equal sign. We multiply the number by 5 and then add 2. So 5 times n plus 2. Okay, let's find the number. So let's bring 5n over here by subtracting it from both sides. That cancels. So that means we have negative 2n equals 2. We divide both sides by negative 2. That means that n is equal to negative 1. And that is our number. All right, so that is all I have for lesson 32. Go back and look at all of these. Look at the phrases. Look at how we deciphered a equation from the phrases. Um, if you are struggling to see how I got this equation or this equation from these words, just ask. Uh, jump on Discord, our, our study group app, and ask a question. Okay? And I'll see you guys soon.